At Yolocom, we believe people should have control over the data that defines them. And as part of our mission to enable people, organizations, and machines to take control of their digital identity, we recently supported an exciting initiative called Blockchain on the Move. As technical partner for the first phase of the project, Yolocom worked with the city of Antwerp, Digopolis, the Flemish government, Informatief Landen, and the ICTOR to develop and deliver the building blocks of a self-managed identity for citizens of Flanders. The aim is to enable citizens to manage their identity data using blockchain technology. Between December 2018 and February 2019, we put together various demo environments and scenarios to demonstrate how the smart wallet can be used by citizens and employees from Dutch and Belgian municipalities during typical service interactions. Over the next 10 minutes, we'll guide you through each demo service and interaction lifestyle in real time. Before heading to the municipal office for our first demo, our imaginary citizen will need to download Yolocom's mobile application for credential management onto a personal device. Our citizen's phone is running the Android operating system. So we head to the Google Play Store and download the Yolocom smart wallet. Once the installation is finished, the citizen can launch the application. If the device is set to Dutch, English, or German, the smart wallet will load in that language. Otherwise, the app loads in English, though additional languages will be added in the future. When opening the application for the first time, the citizen will need to complete a simple setup procedure. First, the citizen enters a secure password, which is used to encrypt data, like credentials, stored on the device by the application. Next, the citizen is prompted to tap and draw on the smart wallet screen. What the citizen can't see is that their action on the screen is helping the app get ready to create a decentralized identity, which requires some random data. When enough entropy is generated, the application can move forward with creating a decentralized identity for the citizen. A sequence of loading screens will be displayed to indicate the progress of the identity creation process going on in the background. Once the citizen's decentralized identity is successfully created and anchored, the application will display a series of words, a seed phrase, that could in the future be used to recover the identity if necessary. After securely storing an analog copy of the seed phrase, the application setup is complete and the citizen can add their name, email, mobile phone number, and postal address to the smart wallet as self-issued credentials. For the purposes of this demo, we will only need the citizen to provide their name and an email address. Clicking on the name field brings up a new window that requests the citizen input a first name and surname. After providing the requested data, the citizen clicks the Add Claim button to generate a self-issue credential containing a claim for their name. The citizen repeats this process in order to generate a self-issued credential containing a claim about their email address. At this stage, the citizen's smart wallet contains two self-issued credentials, one attesting to the citizen's name and the other to the citizen's email address. And with those credentials, our citizen is ready to visit their local municipal office and interact with our first demo service. The service consists of an interaction between a Dutch or Belgian municipal employee and the citizen. Our citizen would like to obtain a digital version of their state-issued ID card as well as a digital version of their A-cart, both of which they already possess in physical form. To do so, the citizen visits their local municipal office in person and interacts with an employee from the municipality. For the purposes of this walkthrough, let's assume our municipal employee already has a fully set up smart wallet in Dutch with some credentials. To begin the procedure for issuing a digital version of the citizen's ID card and A-cart, the employee accesses the login page for our demo service from a municipal computer. After clicking the On Mountain button to begin logging in, a large QR code is displayed, which the employee can scan with their smart wallet. After the QR code is recognized by the app, the smart wallet presents the credential request from the demo service to the employee on the employee's personal device. In this case, the service is requesting the employee share an email address credential. The employee selects their antwerpen.be email credential and then clicks the Share Claims button. This tells the smart wallet to send any claims selected by the user to the service. Once the municipal web service has successfully authenticated the employee's email credential, the municipal computer will automatically display a form 
required for issuing digital versions of the citizen's ID card and ACAR. card. In other words, once logged in, the employee can begin issuing ID card credentials and ACAR card credentials signed by the municipality to citizens who have smart wallets. The employee proceeds to complete the fields using the information presented on the physical ID card and ACAR card provided by the citizen and verified in person by the employee. Upon hitting Submit, the Municipal Service renders a new QR code. This time, the citizen uses their smart wallet to scan the municipal screen and begin receiving their new digital credentials. The citizen's smart wallet displays a detailed summary of the credential the service is attempting to send to the citizen's device. Here, the citizen is able to see that the Municipal Service is sending a credential containing claims corresponding to the form data from earlier. After checking for accuracy, the citizen clicks Accept and proceeds to scan the next QR code on the municipal screen to receive their card credential. Scrolling down the main screen in the smart wallet, the citizen can now see the proof of their ID card credential and card credential, including the issuer and the issuer's DID, the document details and claims, and all the information input into the system by the municipal employee. When our citizen leaves the municipal office, their smart wallet holds four credentials, their self-issued name, self-issued email address, state-issued digital ID card, and state-issued digital A card. With those credentials, our citizen is fully equipped to use the other two demo services we built for the project. The next demo service consists of an interaction between the citizen and a public university. Our citizen would like to enroll at the university and begin a course of study. The smart wallet makes the initial registration process easy. The citizen opens a browser on a computer at home and navigates to the demo web page we built for university admissions. After clicking the Apply Now button, the citizen is presented with a QR code to scan with their smart wallet. Doing so presents a request from the service for a state-issued ID credential, as well as an email credential in the citizen's smart wallet. The citizen selects the ID card credential obtained at the municipal office, as well as their self-issued email credential, and shares them with the university service. Once received, the admission screen will update with a second QR code. This time, scanning the QR code will present a request to send a proof of application credential to the citizen's device. After accepting the proof of application credential, the browser updates to inform the citizen a request for additional documents will be sent to the email address provided in the credential that they shared. And just like that, the citizen has started the enrollment process for the university from comfort of their home, quickly and easily, thanks to the smart wallet. The final demo consists of an interaction between the citizen and a public swimming pool. Our citizen would like to go swimming. Simple as that. With the smart wallet, the local public pool is the obvious choice. The citizen can use a welcome screen stationed at the entrance to the pool facility to seamlessly provide their cart credential to gain entry and a discount. The interaction with the swimming pool service begins with the citizen tapping the Continue with Yolocom button on the welcome screen. A QR code appears for the citizen to scan using their smart wallet. After scanning, the citizen's device receives a request from the pool service for the citizen's ACART credential. Just an effortless credential exchange and the citizen is all clear for their free swim. Once again, all thanks to the smart wallet. That concludes our walkthrough. We hope that this has given you a sense of what services might be available to your business or municipality using a decentralized identity. For questions and feedback or to explore the few options for you, we encourage you to reach out to the YOLOCOM team via email at hello at yolocom.com. Thanks.